hey guys so in this video i'm going to show you that how can you use image j which is a free software which is generally used like uh, to measure uh, distances to uh, to editing to edit images uh, like uh, for research paper so how can we use image j to uh, measure the distances of an scm image so we are going to see that in this video so uh, let's see how can you download image j so just search on the google image j and you can see this image j.nih.government website you can download it from here so let's click on this or you can go to the download page directly by clicking on this so if you go over here you can see there are uh, different platforms available for image j so for uh, mac linux windows you can download your respective image j software so i downloaded it for windows and if you downloaded that software image j you will get uh, this uh, like you will get a, a, a winzip file and then you can extract that and you can get the image software which is over here application and double click on that if you double click on that uh, application of image j you will get this dialog box which shows uh, some options like file like main menu file edit image process analyze plugins windows and help so in this video i am going for i'm just going for um showing you that uh, how can you measure the distances uh, in scm image so let's open the file so to open a file go to file click on open and that will take you to a folder where you have uh, saved your file so let's open a file um so i'm going for scm image so let's go for scm image and i'm going to open a scm image for my work and i can uh, zoom like i can maximize this okay let's maximize this and get the option of this so it is um, the i have the image on, on the left side and i have the main menu on the right side of this so now i want to measure the distances of this uh, micro electromechanical system so first of all we need to define so uh, image j works on the pixels so like what it means that uh, it can measure the distance as per the pixels uh, numbers so as we see over here like this is the standard length or we can say the length specified for this image so in this amount of pixels we have 100 micrometer length and if i want to see that you can zoom it and you can see like this square blocks like these are the pixels so of uh, uh, this is 100 micrometer in this uh, amount of pixels so let's uh, zoom it out again i have to make it enlarge so i am uh, to zoom in or to zoom out i just hold the control button and i will scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out okay so now uh, let's see how can we start so this is the standard length which we used as a datum or as you can see a uh, specified length so for that um, click on this line button so as you can see if you double if you uh, if you uh, right click on that you can see like a straight line segmented line freehand line arrow tool so we have to select the straight line and then zoom this zoom in this as uh, the, the more you zoom in the more precise you will get the length so that's the thing okay so now i will measure the length from here and uh, in order to make the line straight hold the shift key and then drag your uh, and drag the mouse okay so this is 100 micrometer i just uh, uh take off take off the finger from the from the left uh, left mouse button now this is the length i need to give this length as a standard length to the software to the image j for that go to analyze and go to the set scale in the set scale as you can see distance in the pixel so like it is for the pixel it is like 81.4167 distance but we know that in this amount of distances the known distance is 100 micrometer unit of length i can write mu m it is caps lock so small mu m 
it uh, that like if you write capital that also fine it's is the unit of length just for uh, your purpose to know that it is micrometer so known distance 100 micrometer and then click on ok now zoom it out and then let's go over here to measure the distances between let's say the width so for that i will zoom in again i take the length i like the the line button and i will select a point and uh, just hold the shift key and go to the next uh, edge and you can see that go to analyze go to measure if you go for you can see that the length is 92.938 micrometer and if i want to fill it i can just click on fill ctrl f and as you can see it make a line from over here to here and now if i again select the line if i again want to measure that hold the shift key and like this go to analyze go to measure it, it will give me the uh, again give, give me the uh, dimension for that is 92.938 and i can click uh, ctrl f to measure it so edit sorry uh, fill ctrl f so it will fill that line so this is the result you can uh, go to summarize you can find that what is the mean for these two line uh, what is the minimum what is the maximum is the same same length so you can get the uh, mean max and standard deviation for this for this measurement so now the one thing is that as you can see if you fill that you can see that whatever line you have drawn you can see that line on the image now you can change the color of the line by selecting this so right click on this and you can if you want to uh, fill because sometimes what happen your image is like uh, having the dark background so you want to choose the light color select on this uh, close that and now if you draw so let's go to red and let's see what will happen and uh, let's try to make it red if we can get yeah so now in this way you can see it's it's become red so in this way you can change the color for the lines so that you can remember uh, so that you can remember what lines you have uh, in the sequence wise what life you have drawn in like in terms of color or if your image is so dark you can choose the color to make the visible to make the visible uh, to make the lines visible so i hope in this way you can uh, uh, I hope you can understand how to measure the distances. So in this way, it's very easy to measure the distances for an SM images using images. So let's see if you if you want to use uh, again, you want to find the length for this. I can drag it like the mouse. Go to analyze. Go to measure. Now this is the third line which I have measured it. And go to edit. Go to fill. It's fill now the length for that is like 6.6 .6 micrometer. So in this way you can use uh, so the important thing is that after drawing the line go to analyze and go to measure otherwise that will uh, it can uh, measure the distances but it, it will not go it will not convert that uh, measurement to the to the results uh, result box so that, that is important which you need to remember so if i again draw this line hold the shift key to make it uh, per per perfectly straight go to analyze go to measure it will measure it again and uh, to edit fill to make it visible more clearly and if i go again for analyze and um, so over here result summarize it can summarize the things but now over here it is a sum it is a, a summary of all the lines all the three lines which are not same so this will this will not give me the correct result so if you want to summarize the result you just need to summarize for us respective area or respective length or respective width okay so that's the video for this um if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe my channel voice man for more such videos thank you